I'll bet there's a story behind that. While sailing across the islands of Vanuatu, I came across this site one night. Tried to film it, but this is the best I could do. A beautiful moon. And then, just like magic, it was a new morning. I backed up the sails and stopped the boat, lay a hull, and this morning we're just bang on. Couldn't have been better. That's where we're going. Getting a little sporty as well, so it'll be nice to be in. Had to dodge a Chinese fishing boat last night. What a Chinese fishing boat's doing over here on this side of the planet, I don't know. Always a big list. I was just thinking through my head if I had to train someone to be on, on the boat and help me. Uh, on a morning like this, uh, I've got to get the iPad fully charged down below so when I go in uh, to the harbour, it's fully charged, it's not going to quit on me. I've got to have my two coffees. I've got to visit the comfort station at some point this morning. Um, got to stow everything, uh, engine checks, um, oil and water on the engine. I actually ran the engine up this morning just to warm up a little bit because when you get in close and you start up the engine, you need it to start. As we know, that doesn't always happen. Uh, tidy up stuff, make sure things are secure. If you've got any information about the port you're going into, uh, VHF channel numbers, who to call, etc., uh, have that to hand. Here, we're already checked into the country, so I can just amble in. As you get in close, you've got to try and work out which is the entrance. Actually, with Navionics, it's dead easy. There's a line that sticks out from the front of your, your boat, and you just point that, and turn the boat till the line points to where you want to be, and that's where you go. And then you look up and you go, oh, it's there. It's uh, not like the old days. This is uh, a child could do it. Well, if I can do it, a child could do it. <laughs> Back. The weather since I've been in Vanuatu and Fiji for that matter, it just I seem to have an awful lot of bad weather days. Vanuatu, I've had very few good days. I was hoping this would be one of them. It will be if there's pizzas in there. Oh, dishes. There's always something. We're, we're getting to a. Uh, we're getting to the shore and I need to alter course and I realized I hadn't done the dishes uh, so I had to do that where else in the world can you uh, do the dishes while you're being thrown to a certain death on a rocky shore and you've got to get the dishes done that's more important <laughs> that's on a boat that's boat life uh, and then um, uh, I saw a rope actually dangling off the back of the boat which was in the water which was very bad of me look how close <laughs> I've got to turn down from there I had this, I used a spinnaker pole yesterday briefly and I didn't finish putting it away. I don't know what happened, it got dark or I just, my mind was on something else. I can't believe I didn't end up finishing the job. And there was a clang this morning, I heard from down below and it was a spinnaker pole banging, banging around. Luckily it sort of jammed in a, in a position, it should be all right for the moment. It's just, you think you've got everything done and you haven't. There's always something else to do at the last minute. I can sail in the main bay with the sails up. Uh, it's a big old entrance. Uh, then when I'm, I'm in there, hopefully it'll be sheltered and I can get them down at my own leisure. Uh, this again is a very bouncy sea, as you can see. And it's not ideal working on a deck in this. Oh, there you go, look at that. It's interesting to see the difference here between uh, Vanuatu and Fiji. This is similar very similar coastline to Sabu Sabu in uh, Fiji, where there was a headland like that, but the reef extended it right out, and I had to go further right round to get through. Uh, here, you don't have that. I can go fairly close to that uh, headland. I won't, I'll give it a little bit of room, obviously. 
But yeah, Fiji was bad for that. You had to look where the reefs were, not where the land was. Back, back. I can see peaceful waters ahead. I see peaceful waters ahead, Captain. I... I'm so, so looking forward to being able to walk around the boat without hanging on to something. Oh yes, it took me half an hour to make a cup of coffee this morning. But it's an hour later, it's a long way out. The difference here I, between this and Fiji is that this is quiet. There's not a sound. No jet skis, no power boats whizzing around all day. This is just sublime. Back in civilization, uh, so everything's locked up. Engine is locked to the boat, uh, boat's locked to these railings. A private mooring there, not supposed to use it, but I got there and then walked the boat over here. And I'm just waiting for my friends to turn up and then we're gonna go out and have a beer. Being a stone wall, I had to fender her up. And that's a problem when you travel and live on a boat. Not always a place to leave your dinghy, but then I fell in love, so always good. Yeah, I've got to recommend Tusca, a good drinking beer. Meanwhile, back in the UK many years ago, one of my favourite places uh, to go out was the waterfront bar and restaurant in Plymouth. This place had the same name, so I thought I'd take a look around. Very nice tropical bar. Not many people there because it was quite expensive. My friends stayed, but they've got more money than I have. <laughs> Then it was back to the boat to absorb and take in the wonderful ambiance of this wonderful place. Closing up the boat and going out. One of the things about living on a boat is you collect garbage. The stuff that you, you don't want to sort of dispose of naturally has to be taken off and processed, like plastics, for example and you've got to keep it until you can find a place to take it. Well here, there's only the municipal stuff, so uh, garbage cans basically. So I've got to take my stuff out and deposit it, deposit it in various uh, garbage cans around the city. It's the only way I can get rid of my garbage. Let's go. Gonna take a trip up the river and see what's what. There was some windy weather coming up and I was trying to decide what to do. Somebody suggested taking a mooring further up the river as it was a little bit more sheltered. Also, it was a chance for a bit of exploring on a sunny day. Head to the municipal park. There's always garbage cans in the municipal park. Garbage cans are locked. I've just seen this here. Sneak up. Resolve. I'm sure I shouldn't have done that. See all these garbage cans. Are oh, okay. I could have done that one. All right. Took them out of the dumpster because I'm sure I probably shouldn't have put them in there. Belongs to somebody. So I remember that this one is unlocked. Result. I'm going to take a look up there. There's a couple of nice restaurants and also uh, kind of a marina. Come on, squeaky. Daddy. Old Chinese fishing boats. You can tell by the design of those things. Laid up over there, hiding. I can see you. Now that's a beautiful yacht. Love some of the derelicts you find in these backwaters. This is a similar looking boat to mine, except it's got more rust on. Well, it's been a while since anybody's been here. That's a shame. 
I'll bet there's a story behind that. That's got to be a giveaway boat. Yeah, the bow is very similar. She looks like a Vanderstad. Very similar to mine. Let's get back. Having a wander around town, came across this superb old anchor. Apparently it's from 1785 and the French expedition ship, the Astrolabe. Also, these pots, you may have seen them in some of my videos before from my Caribbean days. Those were used to boil down sugarcane for rum. These were used to boil down whales for oil. Port Villa is one of the very few places in Vanuatu that can be said to be a city. Lots of interesting things to be found around every corner. This was the marketplace. Now, I don't like standing in a line. I never have done. It's nothing to do with my age. I just hate lining up for things like restaurants like this and quick food places, which are not quick. Then I found some bags of poop. Yes, they were actually processing poop uh, to be used, I guess, as power of some kind. And this uh, sign, which I think was a, probably a good idea. Talking of poop, look at this. The Mini Moke, a new version of the old classic 1960s vehicle kind of redone I suppose for the modern era but I think what they've really done is take something that was cool and uncool it. I don't know why you'd want to do that. There was nothing wrong with the original version. Well there probably was but at least it was cool. With those thoughts I went back to my boat. The next day something different. Nice little restaurant facing the seafront and the harbour area. Had myself a nice coffee. Oh <laughs> and an English breakfast. That was cool. That evening I'd planned to go out with my friends so I set off but I couldn't find where they were. I got myself totally lost so ended up at this place which is probably one of the world's most glamorously hippie style pizza cool places I've ever seen in my life. I had a pizza there and the next morning I was very ill. I got terrible diarrhea from it. Meanwhile this woman was uh, enjoying herself. I wonder if I can get any signal on my phone. I can watch Barry having diarrhea on YouTube. Ah. So after two days of gut-wrenching misery, I eventually emerged from my cocoon, discovered that the weather had turned as grey as my condition was at that time, and also reminded me that I had to get water for the boat. If this video has a theme, it's really about, it's not just sailing and having adventures, you have to run your boat. We had to get water, we had to do cooking, do cleaning, housework, buy shopping, sort all the food out. It's running a house. And this is the way I do it. This is the way I roll. I need water. I have to find a place that has water. Are these on board? It's the small ones. The 20 litre ones are heavy. Well, that's that mission completed. Got the uh, washing water on board. Had some help from a couple of, a young couple from New Zealand who uh, watched the videos. I'm, I'm just doing my stuff. And they're like, hey, Barry, oh, it is you. Uh, and I'm sorry, guys, I didn't get the name. Um, uh, nice young couple they're over here on holiday so I, I, I saw them a couple of times while I was on shore and we had a long chat and they helped me uh, uh, load the water onto the squeaky um, okay so I'm supposed to move on today it's quite blurry I'm not sure quite what to do there's a fire show on a beach I'm supposed to be going to that um, but I've run out of a few things so I'm gonna have to go ashore again uh, which means leaving Shaddy and it is quite it's big old gusts coming through I hate leaving the boat when it's like that but anyway got to be done because I've, I've, I've got to get stuff done we need to move on okay mission number two I had to buy fresh produce and next to the fruit and vegetable market was this place it's like a line of kitchens all run by individual ladies with their own businesses cooking food you come along you pick a table you sit down and you order the next thing you know home cooked fish and rice this is Vanuatu street food style eating it was 
lovely. It was nice. And it didn't give me a bad stomach. So if you're ever in Port Villa, look out for this lady and order her fish and rice. She'll look after you. Meanwhile, the fruit and veg market next door is something to behold. I tell you what, I, in all my travels, I've never seen anything quite like this. The abundance of produce and the quality because many of these places you go, they have this sort of thing and the quality is not so good. Here, I mean, you could buy bits of jungle if you wanted to. It's blowing again. Ships all uh, closed up, ready for sea or ready for um, going round the bay, really. Going to see some friends. It's supposed to be some fire dancing on the beach. Uh, I'd like to see what that's all about. And um, that's tonight. And I'm just all ready to go and blowing up quite a bit. I don't like pulling up the anchor when it's blowing. I've got boats around me, you know. So I'm just going to wait for it to quiet down again. And then we shall hopefully go and do some adventuring. This town is great, but I've been here too long now. The market is one of the best I've seen in this part of the world. Uh, got some great stuff to eat. Loads, the best selection I've seen uh, in the Pacific, I've got to say. That's streaking on that's streaking on the water there now. Look, see? It doesn't look much, but look at the way the boats are dancing. That guy over here, Shaddy keeps twisting and turning. The alternative is to stay here. But it's a case of re-anchoring. I'm safe here. I know this anchor is holding. This is not good anchoring around here. Um, the ground is people have been slipping out of pulling up out their anchors and all kinds of stuff so to leave a safe anchorage and go somewhere when it's going to be blowing a lot doesn't make sense Turn this back on i made the decision it's better just to stay where i am for tonight uh, play it safe i've got everything i need on board food um, a little cold beer maybe later on and uh, that's fine so here we are and it does look like it the heavens are going to open in a minute, it really does. Sometimes people say, oh, you know, it didn't, didn't look that bad, but I knew what was coming next. There's the weather forecast. Uh, we're at the bottom of the screen there, and you could see that mess coming. And as I looked out and I saw this, I knew what was going to happen next. And this is what happened next. But to end on a high note in the next video, lots of sailing and we sail into some incredibly beautiful places. Join us then. If you've enjoyed the video and you haven't already, please like, comment and subscribe. Press the notifications bell, that way you'll be told every time I make a new video. A big thank you goes out to my incredible patrons who have kept this channel going for so many years now. Your generosity knows no bounds. Thank you so, so much. For live updates, I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, join us again on Adventures of an Old Sea Dog. Mm -hmm.